Hey everybody, it's Michael from theloftestparty.com. I got a very important message for you today, so listen up. You ready? We gotta stop cancel culture, and we gotta cut it out with the virtue signaling, right? It, it's stupid, and it's actively making things worse. So if you're one of these people who's offended, I don't know what to tell you. You need to take a deep breath, calm down, put on your loose-fitting PJs, but you cannot expect to eliminate everything from planet Earth that might make you feel a little uneasy. That's not how any of this works. Okay, now there's a lot of stuff that we agree on. We all saw uh, what those cops did to that dude in Minneapolis, and we all, as a society, agreed it was horrible and change had to be made. And lo and behold, it's coming. At the city, local, state, and federal level, there are changes coming so we can all calm the F down because cancel culture and, and virtue signaling is a giant tornado of stupid and it's wrecking people's lives and it's ruining a bunch of stuff and just like a tornado, you don't know where it's gonna touch down next. It's completely effing random. There's a, there's a country music band, Lady Antebellum. Sorry, I never heard of them. They're like, hey, we're sorry if that offended you. What, what, why? And then they changed their name to Lady A which sounds like a specialty act from a prostitute. But anyway, antebellum, I guess it means like from the pre-Civil War or before war. I, who knew? Who knew? I could have, I could have, I would have sworn a stack of Bibles that antebellum was a, a foot cream from the 1700s. Oh, my toenails infected. Jonathan, go into town and pick me up some antebellum. That could have been it. But lo and behold, it's not. And the virtue signaling, the celebrities with your stupid little videos, unless at the end you're like, and I'm going to give Michael Loftus a million dollars. I don't want to see him. It adds nothing to society. I take responsibility. I hope you take responsibility for that crappy video. Good Lord. And then it gets worse. Now people are losing their jobs, losing their livelihoods. There are opinion editors from newspapers opinion page editors who are being fired for, I'm not kidding you, having opinions. Isn't that part of the job? Who do you want running the opinion page? Someone who's like, I think it's all okay. I think this is all good. That's not an opinion page. And, the, and, and pulling pieces of entertainment doesn't help. This is where I get mad. Like Gone with the Wind, HBO streaming's like, oh, don't worry about that. We're not going to show that one anymore. What? What? Why? Oh, listen, I have gone probably 15 years of my life without even thinking about Gone with the Wind. Without even, it, it, it never even pops into my mind. Now all of a sudden, I'm thinking about it because they brought it up. Now, I've never wanted to see that movie in almost two decades. And now I'm like, ooh, I guess I, I should probably look at that because they took it away. Stop, it's just gonna make me mad. I'm gonna watch the stupid movie and then three and a half hours later, I'm like, why did I even watch that? I, I need that time back in my life. And the BBC pulling episodes of Faulty Towers, that's just wrong. Faulty Towers is nothing but brilliant funny. If you start, start locking away brilliant pieces of comedy, you have a problem as a civilization. That's not good. But it gets weirder. There's people who now, I guess, are offended by Paw Patrol. Now I know what Paw Patrol is. It's an animated show where little dogs and animals are like firemen and policemen. And people are like, oh, we got to get rid of that. What are you talking about? Did, did the little uh, puppy police officer, did he, did he, did he use mace? Was he, was he brutal? Did he forget to read someone? Their little puppy Miranda writes? What are we talking about here? And this is the worst part with cancel culture. When it starts to affect real people, people's lives and their ability to make money and, and provide for their families. They canceled the show Cops and they canceled Live PD. If you've ever been around a TV show, that's a lot of jobs that just went whoosh, gone. There's a lot of people today who are like, they don't know how they're gonna pay their bills. It was already bad enough, but thank you, cancel culture. You just made it worse. Now there's a couple hundred people who are really up the creek without a paddle. And come on, 
You don't like the show Cops? There's a reason that show was on 30 years. There's a reason you would come home, no matter how bad your day was, no matter how low your self-esteem was, you could come home, put on Cops, and watch some idiot piece of trash who was obviously drunk try to convince a cop that he wasn't, and you would sit on your couch thinking, at least I'm not that poor son of a bitch. And then, if God was good, the stupid moron would try to run. <laughs> and that is entertainment. That's a cautionary tale. Nobody watched cops like, ooh, I want to be like that. Everybody watched cops like, ooh, I don't, I don't want to be that guy. Well, congratulations, you virtue signaling, cancer culture, idol worshiping, look at me, look at me morons. There's people out of work, and now I can't watch cops and feel better about my life. Shame. Stop it.